We're plowing anyway with uh, my game, Bandzai. <laughs> 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 that is <What>? trash. <laughs> I was really pleased with that. <laughs> I hope you've got Mr. Shaggy hands, man. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's start with question so. one. <laughs> yep. Uh, so these are, are things that have been banned by the NBA. Okay. What's the, what's the format of this game? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you do need to know that. Yeah. It is uh, two truths, one lie. Oh, you've copied my format. I have. My format from last week. Because it was so popular amongst our fans. Yeah. <laughs> um, right in amongst us. <laughs> 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 Take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, question one. Yes. Um, two truths, one lie. Mm-hmm. A. Tweeting during office hours. NBA pl- players are not allowed to tweet. During office hours. Hmm. This, this is league wide. Oh, shall I yeah. save my questions for the end, or shall I ask you now? Uh, I'll I'll go, I'll do all three. Do the three, and we'll talk them yeah. through. Yeah. Uh, short shorts. Okay, they're banned. Banned. Okay. And logos in hair, so you can't shave a logo into your hair. Okay, I see. That is quite popular, isn't it? Or. Oh. Is it? Well, <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it was getting too popular. That was the problem. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> not allowed anymore. Uh, I've seen. I think I've seen it. Like people having Nike ticks. Maybe it's only Nike ticks though. What else could you shave into your Adidas. hair? Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, that'd be easy. Yeah. Umbro. I reckon a lot of them wear Umbro stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> And Gola. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Gola. Puma. Yeah. <laughs> lovely no Reebok, though. They're not, they're not animals. <laughs> Reebok? <laughs> How dare you? Um, oh, that, that's a possibility, the shavy hair one. So that's due to sort of like the NBA's uh, advertising Advertising, rights. yeah, because that would have been a way to get around having it like sewed into your clothes yeah. and stuff. Because they, they don't allow... I don't think they have like individual. I guess they don't in football either. You don't have individual sponsored stuff. In You're not football. allowed individual sponsored stuff apart from shoes. Yes, they all have their own shoe yes. models. Mm. They actually changed the rules this year for the first time to allow people to wear shoe colours that aren't the same as their strip in the NBA. Ah. So people are, like running around with lime green shoes that you weren't allowed to do anymore <laughs> <laughs> before. And apparently, it's very jarring on the eyes <laughs> because it's a very colourful sport, <laughs> and some of the, <laughs> the shoes do not match. Them. Oh, it's too colourful. <laughs> people are having seizures in the crowd. <laughs> Uh, the NBA will allow players to wear sneakers of any color at any point during the season. So, how does this ruling really change how players wear their shoes on the floor? It's going to be tons of fun. Uh, that's a possibility because people, when it comes to money, sponsorships, that's when strange rules come out. Yeah. Hmm. What was number two then? Short shorts. Short shorts. Uh, see, this one, I don't know if they were banned. Because in the old days, they certainly used to wear the short shorts. They did. And boy, did they wear them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is to prevent accidents. <laughs> <laughs> to prevent horrified fans. <laughs> Yeah, they were short in the old days. <laughs> you could see. Um, yeah, it's a possibility that they were banned, but I don't think that they would have been... Why would they have banned them? I can't think of a reason the league would have banned short shorts. So I couldn't find a credible reason. Mm. <laughs> but if one person is going to wear long shorts, 
then then you will have to match the whole the whole team has to so. match. There's one person who's ruined it for the rest of you. <laughs> Essentially, yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So that on like team photos, they all look the same. Yeah, matching kit and all that. Yeah, maybe. Mm, and the first one, tweeting during office hours. This one I'm confused by because. What do you mean office hours? Do you mean nine to five, like Dolly? It's essentially and during games. So yeah. So during office hours, so when they should be practicing, and during games. I think that's a strange one because, yes, during games I can understand being banned during games. That's generally the case, I think, in sports, isn't it? They take your phone off you for gambling reasons as well oh. to stop you gambling during the game. That's why a lot of cricketers have their phones taken away from them. A lot of time just sitting around <laughs> doing nothing. Put a little bets on. Yeah. Put a little bets on. I'm going to get out next ball. Uh, no, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can see that. But during office hours, like when you're supposed to be training, you don't you don't train nine to five, though, do you? As a sportsman, they don't do it all day every day. No, but when they're during their downtime, that's that's like. I don't know when you when you just have like a sneaky break at work. Because they're still <laughs> like at work. Six hours. They're still at work. They're just I suppose between between what reps. Else, what else are they supposed <laughs> to be doing? Like looking at the next games, the next game or something. Looking yeah. at strategies. They're always on. They're always I guess on. in American sports as well because they play so often. Maybe that is the case. Because they, but then they'd never be allowed to have their phones. <laughs> they play every night. <laughs> they do play a lot. <laughs> yeah. They play every night and they're doing sports every day, doing training. You wouldn't be allowed to do any tweets. Maybe. maybe this. <laughs> and that's the most important thing. I need my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's tough. This is a tough one. <laughs> Let me list my options and why I think all of them are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> tweeting, I think those hours are so long that I don't think that can possibly be true. The second one, short shorts. Short shorts. Why would they ban short shorts? I think that's silly. (laughs) But I do know that they only wear long shorts now. And they always used to wear short shorts. So I'm going to say that one's true. And the third one was the logos in the hair. Logos in the hair. So two are true and one is false. Yes. Middle one's true. I think the logo in the hair is true. The tweet is just false. You're wrong. Oh, God damn. They, are, they have been banned from tweeting during office hours. Unbelievable. And when, short shorts haven't been banned. I knew They're it. Just, it's just a, just a trend. I knew they hadn't been just banned. I taught myself out of it. Because <laughs> it was the one that seemed the most... That was a good, a good well-written question. Because that is a real trend. <laughs> so you're not allowed to shave the umbro, <laughs> umbro thing into your hair. No. Yeah, that does make sense. I can see that. So we'll go to NFL for question two. Oh, hello. And these are band celebrations. Oh, they are very, very hot on celebrations in the NFL. They are, or they used to be. Apparently, it's it's becoming more and more lenient. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it it is known as the not-so-fun league. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. (laughs) Did you do that? I didn't. I wish I had. That's good, then. It? <laughs> it's very good. I'll write that down. <laughs> um, so A, backflips. Okay. B, saluting. Mm. C, spinning the ball. <laughs> the way you said that is very intriguing. <laughs> spinning the ball like on your finger. On the ground, yeah, uh, just e- in general, either like, but like what a basketball player might do, like spinning it on on their finger and like spinning it around, yeah, whizzing it around, like on an edge. Okay, why would that be banned? That was supposedly bla- bland. Supposedly, <laughs> supposedly banned because it was excessive. Yeah, and players could injure their wrist. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many other things are banned. <laughs> Not a game night. <laughs> That's excessive. <laughs> Stop spinning that ball. <laughs> Do yourself a mischief. <laughs> um, oh, that one seems silly. <laughs> but I do know that they were very hot on excessive celebrations. So 
if someone was doing it for like a minute or so, just stood there like, woo, loo, loo, loo. maybe that'd get a bit excessive. <laughs> Middle one, what was question number B? Saluting. Saluting. I think that one, I'm pretty sure that one is bad because I'm sure someone like saluted to somebody who, I don't know, was in the army before or something or I in think the Marines or it, something like it that. It was generally regarded if you saluted your opposition, it's quite it's offensive. Taking a piss. Yeah. Um, so they've just banned it all together. Yes. R- regardless of who you're saluting at. Yeah, I think that that sounds right because they are very, that was one of the things that you're not allowed to be disrespectful to your opponent Yeah. in the, in the celebration. So I think that one, yeah, I'm going to go with that one being true. The first one. Backflips. I could see backflips being banned. This was for self and hefty. Yeah. It, 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 I can see why you'd want to do that. That guy, one of the football players died, didn't he, doing it? In like yes. Africa or somewhere. Yeah. He did some flips and died. So I could definitely see that being banned. But would Americans really worry about health and safety? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it comes to NFL. Well, they're what? Well, they're worried. <laughs> they're very worried. <laughs> they are very worried about their wrists, apparently. <laughs> well, they're either worried about their wrists or landing on their heads, <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> I am going to say that backflips are banned and you can't spin the ball. No, wait, spinning the ball is a lie. Yeah, spinning the ball is a lie. You would be wrong. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> so, spinning the, ball spinning the ball was deemed excessive. Because of wrist injuries. <laughs> Saluting yeah, offensive. We talked that one out. Ba- the back flips flip. haven't been banned, but <laughs> celebrating on the floor was banned. So, if you didn't land your backflip, <laughs> you could be penalised. <laughs> <laughs> More so than not landing a backflip. <laughs> There's already penalty enough, I think. <laughs> Insult to injury comes to mind. So that's another cross. God damn. Another well written question. Very good. So, question three we're visiting three different sports for this one. Okay. Because I had no three from the same. Okay. Uh, for these this particular collection mm-hmm. NFL. Mm hmm. Hitting each other on the helmet. So, sort of in celebration, hitting your own Ooh. teammates on the helmet. Ooh, okay. B, Cleveland Brown banned paper aeroplanes. <laughs> Cleveland Brown? <laughs> the, the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> <laughs> Just Cleveland Brown. <laughs> He's a family guy, isn't he? <laughs> they banned paper aeroplanes. Yes. Okay. And in squash... Vomit is banned. (laughs) (laughs) I'll I'll, um, expand on that one a little bit more. Yes, please. If you vomit on court, you've been deemed to have made it unplayable and you lose. Full forfeit? Yeah. Okay. But you are allowed to vomit from inside, outside. (laughs) (laughs) Out through the door? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> quick quick open the door <laughs> okay I'm back I'm ready to play uh, oh, that one that one sounds true because it would be very dangerous to play on vomit I could see that <laughs> <laughs> so you're banned <laughs> <laughs> but like like you say it's it's an interpretation of another rule yeah. of making the court unplayable which I don't know what the other ways of doing that is like oil slicks or something bananas <laughs> down I don't know <laughs> But I can see, I can see how that would be uh, deemed an offence. Well, it is generally offensive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's horrible. It's the smell. The smell would be the worst thing. <laughs> but what happens? You know how, like, when you're sick, it makes other people want to be sick. You both get disqualified. <laughs> ah, whichever one landed first, <laughs> the umpire has to win. <laughs> you know, he's sick. And <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that one's probably true. What was the middle one? Uh, paper aeroplanes have been oh. banned at Old oh, Cleveland Brown <laughs> <laughs> by the Cleveland Brown American. <laughs> well, they're, they're a football team, right? NFL team, Cleveland Browns. Yes. Yeah. Why would you ban? Paper so they airplanes? they got letters from fans saying that they could cause injury if you get them in your eye. Did they get the letters 
in paper airplane form. <laughs> <laughs> Throw these at the GM. <laughs> ban them. Ban these. <laughs> you see? Do you see how dangerous they can be? <laughs> One stuck in my helmet. <laughs> um, I guess. Who's banned from doing it? The fans? The fans. The fans. So the being... fans petitioned to get themselves <laughs> to be banned. <laughs> That is a ridiculous story. <laughs> so ridiculous that it must be true. <laughs> you couldn't make that up. <laughs> and the first one... Uh, players patting each other on the helmet or hitting each other on the helmet <sighs> See, I've in the seen, NFL. I've seen them do that in the mm. highlight videos I've seen. But should they be doing But that might be something that's recently come in because they have real problems with concussion, don't they? So yes, it is so that you don't aggravate anything. Yeah. Which is kind of saying something in itself <laughs> that <laughs> all you're doing is aggravating what's already happening in the sport. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that one, that one could be true, but I don't think so. Again, I don't think they care that much about player safety in NFL. They're so. worried about their wrists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that... they could hurt their hands. <laughs> Backflips, off you go. <laughs> off you go, son. No, I think you're allowed to hit each other in the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you wouldn't. <laughs> um, uh, what was the other one? I've forgotten already. Paper airplanes on vomit. Paper airplanes on vomit. Which one do I think? I think the paper airplanes is true and the vomit is false. Wait, so which which one do you think is... So you think... I think the vomit is the false one. So you're wrong. Oh, God damn. <laughs> you're not allowed to vomit on the squash court. <laughs> on the squash court. You would lose. <laughs> well, I thought you'd have just made that up. I thought, like, I, think, I didn't think you were allowed to vomit on the court. I just didn't think it was written into the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the rules. Yeah. But players can hit each other on the helmets much as they like. Ah, so you made the paper airplanes up. Uh, no, no, uh, the paper airplanes is also uh, true. They were banned on the request of one fan. <laughs> really? So the vomit is banned. You're not allowed to vomit. Oh, paper airplanes are banned. I've messed up my own logic, haven't I? <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> I what an idiot I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you were allowed to hit each other in the helmet. And that's, that's no, what I so said was true. Hitting each other. Uh, <laughs> that has been banned. That That hasn't been banned. That hasn't been banned. <laughs> Oh yeah, and that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I just tore myself into a corner. <laughs> oh, an idiot! <laughs> I see what you did there. So maybe maybe a quarter of a mark. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold. So <laughs> I might have just said it wrong. <laughs> um. Okay. Question three. Three. We've, already, we've done three, four. Three, four. Question four. I can uh, count at least. A. In the NHL, that's the hockey. Mm-hmm. Tucking your jersey into your pants is banned. <laughs> <laughs> so, tucking your top into your trousers, yeah. as, as, as we would know. Tucking your vest into your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> is banned. Okay. B, vuvuzelas at football matches. Oh, hello. Okay. Have been banned by FIFA. Yeah. C, Fruit and veg at football games <laughs> has been banned for the players or for the fans. For the for the fans. Okay. After after a uh, cabbage was thrown at uh, the Aston Villa manager. <laughs> Are you sure it's not the other way around? <laughs> Somebody threw something at the Aston Villa manager and thought he was a cabbage. <laughs> um, oh, that's a toughie. Fruit and veg being banned. Oh, I could see that because football fans are nuts and <laughs> some fruit and veg would be quite dangerous. You wouldn't yeah. want to get a carrot in your eye, would you? That'd be dangerous. <laughs> wouldn't onion make you cry? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ooh, that's a tactic. <laughs> Rub it all over the <laughs> opposition players. Um, ooh, that's a possibility. What was the middle one? Vuvuzelas. I'm... Oh... I know there was calls for them to be banned after the South Africa World Cup because everyone hated them. Is there shit? And they were so <laughs> annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I think they were banned. 
I, Were they banned from football, though? I thought I heard them at the World Cup. The one just gone? Yeah. But Ooh. then, but then obviously, Russia, no, no, there's no Vuvuzela. <laughs> the bear, it's a bear. <laughs> this is a carrot. <laughs> there's aren't band here. <laughs> we take carrots where we want. <laughs> and then just full of Vuvuzela. Out of the... <laughs> it's a hat. <laughs> Lovely hat. <laughs> <laughs> Too hot <laughs> Full of bees <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, it's bees <laughs> Oh, bees Yeah, bees One of the questions is, Have you got any bees Or beekeeping equipment? <laughs> hmm? These people, people trying to smuggle bees Into Australia Pushing a big hive Through customs Like that <laughs> These all bees Going out <laughs> Is that a hive? No, no It's a hat Big hat there Lovely mm. <laughs> Have you got bees in your mouth? Mm. Uh, Vuvuzelas. I feel like Vuvuzelas were banned, but I might be thinking of another sport. Okay, what was the first one? Tucking your top into your trousers <laughs> has been banned in the NHL. That is banned. Why would you ban that? Self and self and hefty again. Why that? Why are you tucking it in more more bad, more I, worse? Than? I couldn't find an explanation to be honest. <laughs> <Just> made it <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a fun no. Um It looks it looks posh though, doesn't it? Maybe that's what it is, they don't want to look posh. Mm. I can't see why it'd be health and safety to have to to have to have it untucked. I would have thought that being untucked would made it more likely to get yeah. stuck on a stick or something. Or or tugged or yeah. trapped. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of a reason why. No, it doesn't make dangerous. sense to me. But have you made it up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that one's true. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are the other ones? Vuvuzelas. Vuvuzelas. I and think, fruit and veg. I think Vuvuzelas are banned. So I think fruit and veg. Wait. I can talk myself around in circles again. <laughs> so I think Vuvuzelas are banned. So I think that one's true. Yeah. And I think fruit and veg is false. I think being tucking in, I think that's true. You, you are right. Yes. So, ooh, 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 ooh. I did better than you, at least. <laughs> Tucking your top into your pants is banned. Is banned. <laughs> I don't. NHL. I don't get that. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> Vuvuzelas have been banned. Yeah, I thought that was the case. And although many missiles are banned, it doesn't specifically mention fruit and veg. No, so. I don't think you could ban fruit and veg. Not in this day and age. No, exactly. You get told off for making kids fat or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So, what are we on? Question... Question five. Five. So, these are things that have been banned by the Augusta National Golf Club. Is it Phil Mickelson? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say them all. Okay. And then I'll elaborate. All right. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> glutes. Glutes? Okay. And get in the hole. Okay. So... These are things that fans are no longer allowed to shout. At, at the Masters. The Specifically brought in for the 2018 yeah, Masters. Okay. So shouting mashed potatoes has been banned. Shouting activate the glutes <laughs> has been banned. <laughs> I've not heard that one. And shouting get in the hole has been banned. Now... I could see any of these being banned because they're all very annoying. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mashed potato one especially <laughs> is so silly. <laughs> so I think mashed potato almost certainly will have been banned because it's it's silly. It's not golf. It's not cricket, <laughs> it's is it? It's just not cricket, is it? Yeah. I think, I think if they were going to ban any of these, mashed potato would be one to ban because it... <laughs> It comes from it just comes from that silly video that we watched on the internet. How many people do we think have watched that video? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully everyone. <laughs> oh, this is a beauty. Didn't get any more than twenty feet off the ground. There's the stinger. What was that chicken? Somebody scream mashed potatoes? That was mashed. <laughs> yeah, I think mashed potato would have been banned. Activate the glutes. That's very long. Do people really shout that? They do at Augusta. Activate the glutes. Maybe it's like, 
maybe when somebody shouts that something happens, it's like a mini golf course. And <laughs> well, the windmill starts turning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought you meant like Power Rangers, <laughs> like the, all the players <laughs> merge into one giant player, <laughs> mega mega fill with with their tight glutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. They just become one massive pair of legs. <laughs> it's become a massive arse, <laughs> like Phil Mickelson. <laughs> oh, and that's, that's the game. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop there. <laughs> Have a great week. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I don't think that trips off the tongue very well. So, is that more of a reason to ban it? Because it's it would be very annoying to hear because it doesn't sound very good. Or does that mean that people say it less because it's much harder to say? Well, maybe I've just picked out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other one, isn't it? <laughs> I've definitely heard people shout "get in the hole." <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I don't know if you're triggering me. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this game. Um, yeah, get in the hole. Well, they must have banned get in the hole because people shout. People have shouted that for years, and it is very, very annoying. So you think they have banned people shouting mashed potatoes, mashed potato, and get in the hole? Yeah, and getting the glutes. No one cares about. <sighs> You would be wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> they have banned mashed potato. Of course, of they, course have. they have. I would keep getting the first one right. Whatever I say first, I get right. And they have banned activate the glutes. Why? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Who's saying that? But get in the hole was not on the list of phrases that banned. people in the crowd aren't allowed to shout out. I guess. I guess when you're putting on the green... It makes sense to yeah. be allowed to shout that. I think that's it. But it'd be it's people shouting it from the T that is wrong, <laughs> isn't it? Um, would you like to hear a couple of the other choice phrases? Oh, I'd love to. You da slash the man. Oh, really? Oh, they put both. Yeah, they put both. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he say you're the man? No, 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 no. He said da. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, fine. No, that's <laughs> Keep that one in. Bikini wax. <laughs> <laughs> Does that help activate your glutes? <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's if if he if he is on the fairway. Oh, okay, oh, I, I I've literally just just made yeah, that connection. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And to infinity and beyond. <laughs> you're not you're not allowed to shout that. You can't. What if your buzz like you? <laughs> that's discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed at Augusta. <laughs> oh, Tim Allen, <laughs> not allowed over <laughs> near it. <laughs> so. Final question. Oh, there's still more to go. Oh, and last one. Yeah. This relates to college athletes. Oh, okay. A. Mm. They are banned from taking selfies with animals. Quickly, when you say college athletes, is this across all sports that they play in? Yes. Okay. Banned by the NCAA? NCAA, NCAA yeah. yeah. Banned from taking selfies with animals. Mm-hmm. Signing autographs, mm. taking photos, photos, photos. Take yourself a photo, mate. Yeah, <laughs> like yourself. Yeah, <laughs> only, only just a normal photograph. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots, bloody millennials, <laughs> ruining all our words. Taking photos with potential like, taking, <laughs> <laughs> taking photos yeah. with potential recruits. E.g. taking a selfie with an NFL coach. But, but, oh, potential recruiters. So people who are going to uh, recruit yes, them. Yes, it did say recruits, uh, but recruiters. Yes. Okay. So they're not allowed to take photos with people who might employ them in the future. Yes. The point. Okay. Oh, this is tough <laughs> because <laughs> there's there's quite a lot of dispute around the college sport in America, isn't there? It's very, very big. Yeah. There's a huge amount of money in it, but none but of it goes to the players. But they're not allowed to make money. Yeah. Which is... There is... I don't know. Yeah, it's quite heavy, but people have like likened it to slavery, effectively. Because they are, <laughs> yeah. not, they are not paid, and people make a lot of money off their backs. Yeah. So, those... Yeah. These all sound plausible. Not being able to sign autographs, that's the one that stuck out to me first so you're not allowed to s 
sign autographs and sell them. Mm. But a player was banned for signing autographs because although it couldn't be proved that he would be selling them, mm. he should have known that other people could sell them. And so you're not allowed to sign autographs because what <laughs> they might sell them. Who might sell them? The people... The public? Yeah, whoever's or whosever book you signed. That is ridiculous. <laughs> That's more ridiculous now that I've heard the explanation behind it. <laughs> a player got banned for half a game. Half a game? For signing autographs. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even... That's not a ban. <laughs> half a game. <laughs> Being silly. <laughs> oh, that sounds stupid enough to be true. <laughs> Uh, what was the last one? Give me the last one again. Uh, t- taking photos with potential recruiters. I think that one's probably all right because it's kind of a... They use the college system as a a shop window, don't they? Yeah. Or they, they do have the draft. Hmm. But surely if you're linked with a team in the draft... It's like there's nothing wrong with that, unless you still might get drafted by somebody else. You might, yeah, but what's the problem with having your photo with somebody else? Mm. It's your purview. Like, if you get drafted by someone else and you want to go somewhere else, then I guess that's up to you. Then uh, yeah. I don't see I don't see the problem with that one, but it doesn't mean it's not true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bit silly. <laughs> what's the first one? Taking selfies with animals. That one. Sounds like it might have come out of one experience. <laughs> so you one don't get them, eaten by crocodiles yeah, and koala bears and stuff. Them, koala bears. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're in America. <laughs> oh, I've never been eaten by a koala bear. <laughs> Apparently, though, koala bear bites are one of the most poisonous things. They got herpes, you can get didn't they? Or chlamydia. They can get human chlamydia, but also because of the eucalyptus. Eucalyptus? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and that is poisonous in high oh, concentrations, really? and their mouths are always full of it. So <laughs> if you're if it's my koala, it can be very poisonous. Yeah, I think I think that was actually the incident. Right? Yeah, 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 that was why I was in my head. Yeah, <laughs> Blake Griffin got <laughs> bit, bitten by a koala. Uh, as a possibility, that one's true. <laughs> I yeah, I can see that one. I can see where that rule would come from. From one stupid person getting <laughs> yeah. eaten by a lion or something. <laughs> what happened in rugby, didn't it? It did, yeah, but they didn't ban him from doing it. No. <laughs> yeah, I think that one's probably true. Well, the middle one was the signing, the signing autograph. autographs. Autograph. That one sounds stupid enough to be true. I think the last one is false. You would be wrong. Oh, no. <clears throat> Taking photos with potential recruiters is banned. Why? I don't know. Why is that Re- banned? Reasons. Stupid NWCA. NCAA. Signing autographs is banned. In case you go and sell them. Yeah. So or again, apparently if somebody else sells them. Again, I've got the first one right. <laughs> that, that one I knew was yeah. right. Uh, yeah, of course you can take selfies with animals. But what if you get <laughs> eaten by a lion? <laughs> so, or a raptor. <laughs> I shall tot up your marks. Uh, you're going to take a long time over tying them up, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I've just crossed them all. <laughs> <laughs> i got one right. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> you got one and a quarter I did that's alright I've done worse I've done worse <laughs> you, you have that's Banzai Banzai